developing this morning more potential fallout for top leadership of the 2010 Chicago Blackhawks after the explosive findings of a sexual assault investigation. Today, former Hawks head coach Joel Quinville is meeting with NHL Commissioner Gary Bettman in New York. It comes after the player making those accusations, known as John Doe, publicly revealed himself. CBS 2's Mugu Odigwe is following the latest developments. As the Blackhawks organization tries to deal with the fallout of the allegations, Kyle Beach spoke out again this morning on CBS Mornings. He says he's coming forward now to take back the years he lost after the assault and the lack of action that followed. This is so much bigger than Kyle Beach. Yes, I am a survivor, but there's millions of people in this world that have been affected by sexual abuse or sexual assault. And I'm speaking out now to hopefully give them a voice to give them the power to come forward so that we can make a change in this world and hopefully make this a safer place in sports, but also in work. In work. Back in 2008, Beach was the Blackhawks first round draft pick. He was called up in 2010 as a Blackhawks practice player. In May of that year, he alleges the Blackhawks then video coach Brad Aldrich threatened him with a baseball bat before forcibly kissing and sexually assaulting him, saying he would never play in the NHL if anyone found out. After the game last night, the only two Blackhawks still on the team from 2010, Patrick Kane and Jonathan Taves, spoke about the allegations. I thought um, what I'd heard was this, was the beginning and the end of it, and uh, not that it was a joke, but it was something that, that wasn't taken super seriously at the time. And wish uh, back then we could have done some some different things or knew about some different things that uh, maybe we could have helped them. But an independent investigation confirmed even though Beach reported the assault to Blackhawks leaders, there was never an investigation. In fact, Aldrich was there for the Stanley Cup win. He's accused of going on to assault a team intern. Then years later, while coaching at Michigan High School, he pleaded guilty to sexually assaulting a 16 year old player something Beach got emotional about during this morning's interview, even apologizing to the victim. My message to him was that I'm sorry because I feel like maybe I could have done more then to protect him. At the same time, I want to thank him. Because finding out about his story also gave Beach the courage and strength to ask for help. To be where we are today, to make a difference, and hopefully send a message to, to everybody out there that you're not alone. Again, then head coach Coach Q will meet with the NHL commissioner this afternoon. Beach says he hopes action will now be taken to make sure what happened to him will never happen to anyone again. At the UC, Mugodigwe, CBS 2 News.